Welcome to today's video. This is so long overdue. I'm so excited to get going. As you can tell from the title, we are going to do a deep clean of some of the spaces in my home that I have just let get so bad to my standards. I'm a pretty organized person and I like to believe that my house is usually pretty clean, but there are some spaces. Today, we are going to do a very satisfying deep clean of a lot of those spaces in my house that I know need the attention. So if you're a fan of cleaning videos before and after, clean my home with me, deep cleaning, all of that, this video is for you. Today, we are going to be cleaning the two closets on the main floor. I'll show you a better view of it in a second, but I've got a front door closet and then on the other side by my garage door entry, I also have a closet. I've never really cleaned them. I definitely just throw shoes and jackets and anything in there. Today, I want to organize it. And then we will also be cleaning my office upstairs, which has gotten so bad, specifically the office closet. That is my bottomless pit closet. Like. <laughs> It's so bad. And then if we have time, I would love to deep clean the yoga and wellness room upstairs as well, because that's another space that I used to use at least once to twice a day. And I haven't practiced yoga in there in, I don't know, six months maybe, because it needs, it needs a deep clean. I also have a very exciting package to incorporate into my office upstairs when we get to that. But thank you to the company that is helping me out on this video. But it is a gloomy, rainy Saturday. I just have two Zoom consultations in a little bit. But besides that, the whole day is really dedicated to cleaning my house, cleaning out the space. I'm very good at keeping up and cleaning like the main area spaces, living room, bathrooms, bedroom, but the spaces that I don't use and don't have people seeing all the time, such as the closets, office, and yoga room, that's where it gets bad. So today we're gonna fix that. Also, don't mind my track marks. Oh my God. I got my blood drawn yesterday. I haven't gotten my blood drawn in years, but I don't remember my arm looking like that last time. So I don't know. I'm probably very anemic at the moment and bruising easily or it's a sign that the reason they drew my blood came back positive for what they were testing for. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, I've got my first Zoom consult with an OnlyFans creator in about 30 minutes, but let me show you the spaces that we are working with and get started. It's a few hours later. I just had a couple of Zoom consults. I was going to start this before, but I didn't want to get deep into the closet and then have to cut to go take some Zoom meetings. So I just waited, but the Zoom consults went really well. I always love chatting with other OnlyFans creators. It's very inspiring to me as well, chatting with other creators to get some more ideas and all of that. So if you are an OnlyFans creator and want more one-on-one -on -one help, definitely shoot me a message and we can set up a Zoom meeting also. It's getting darker. Let's start with this first closet. So we're right by my front door. Let me show you what we are working with with this entryway closet because I will say I never really use this closet because I never come in through the front. The garage closet though, that's a different story. But this one doesn't really get used a lot. So primarily it's used for storage. This is my front entryway closet. We've got this pothos that is totally taking over this wall. I probably should should redirect it a little bit off of the door. And then this is a bin from my patio. Now that summer is over, I have to put it away. And then this is actually a very exciting package for the office upstairs. So we will unbox this in a bit, but I can't wait to show you guys. It's from a company that sent over a really cool end side table, but it's like smart technology. So I'll show you that in a bit. Let me show you what we are working with. On this side, to be careful of like, the plants too. I don't want any of them to get stuck. On this side, oh my God, we have a ton of old shoes, a lot of bags and backpacks that I honestly just don't use that much anymore now that I'm out of college. But some of these totes are nice to have. I feel like I just can't get rid of them. Random like games, storage. If you open this side, it has my fall 
storage bin that I put all of my fall decor back in. Like it's just random junk. It's so not usable right now. So my plan is very simple. I feel like I just have to take everything out clean. I have the vacuum out here because I just want to like vacuum the closet and then put everything back but neatly. There's also a lot of random stuff in there that I do just have to throw away or put downstairs or just not. I like put it in the closet so I didn't have to deal with it but today we are dealing with it. So cue the time lapse. Let's empty this thing out. I've got this like winter mat for boots as well. I guess I should put this out soon since it's the middle of October. Oh my god. chalk for the first time in my life i just realized i own chalk and i put it by the front door thinking i was ever going to use it outside what do i do with this so many reusable totes this is definitely like a millennial mindset of oh i might need it someday can't get rid of it <laughs> I will say though, these came in so handy when I was moving because I had so many like tote bags with handles that I could pack with. So I used this a lot for like random stuff that I was packing and bringing over to this house. It did come in handy actually, one time. <laughs> complete chaos. I emptied out everything that I know is not going back. Let's vacuum and then put back only the essentials. I've got a lot of stuff that I just need to throw away as well. The amount of boxes that I found from things that I bought when I moved in, like the box that my front door came in or like key lock things or instructions to things that I bought when I moved in is insane to me because I didn't want to throw it away. So I just put it in the closet, but I have not gone through it since I moved in. So I just found so many crazy things that are like two or three years old at this point. In terms of shoes, I've been putting shoes in here that like I've just had my whole life, don't really wear heels, things that aren't everyday shoes I've been putting in this closet, which has led to my seventh grade softball cleats, my middle school tennis shoes, my high school running shoes, Converse that I haven't worn since like high school, really outdated nude heels and wedges. And then I have like a ton of random like going out shoes that just get thrown in here as well, along with like all this. But let's just make them look nice. I probably should get rid of a lot of these shoes because I have like newer nude heels that I wear instead, but I don't know, it's so hard for me to part with things that like aren't broken, especially like shoes, because I never know when I might need the shoe. With clothes, it's easy for me to get rid of outdated ones, but with shoes, I feel like I have a hard time because I want to make sure I have a pair for like every occasion. Realistically, I don't know when I'm ever going to want to wear these old Converse again. Although, then I started thinking like, okay, but emo night, what if there was like an emo night that I'd go to? Or 1989 like that's what i think of with these blue converse it definitely stems from growing up with not a lot of options you know like growing up i had one pair of nice shoes one pair of tennis shoes one pair of like everyday shoes so now it's like whenever i buy myself more shoes now that i'm not like a child and can buy myself whatever it's like okay but i don't know if i'll ever need these again so what if it's because i didn't have that like as a kid if that makes sense finish the entryway closet area. I think this is going to be the easiest section that I'm deep cleaning today just because it was the least amount to clean and do. I also went ahead and vacuumed and washed the floor. I need help with this grout. If you have a good cleaner suggestion for grout, please let me know. I've tried a few things and I just need to fix it. Never get white grout. I've learned the hard way. <laughs> it feels so good to have this area refreshed. I even got the plant 
situated. It just looks a lot nicer, honestly. I put all of the shoes that I don't really wear but can't part with, with back. I use this really big cardboard as a backdrop if I'm painting or doing anything messy. You can see the outline of a canvas that I painted a few years ago. So that does come in handy. And then all of my Christmas lights for outside of my house, I just put here by the front door. I actually have to get ready to put these back out soon, which is crazy. That is the summer bin, usually things that go on my patio, but I bring it in in the winter time. And then I shoved all of the backpacks here because I don't use them now, but they are nice to have. But already it just feels so much cooler leaner. And then over on this side, it looks the same. It honestly doesn't look that different, but it feels so much better to me. I didn't really touch all of the extra games and puzzles up there, but I've got this tote bag full of tote bags. And then I recently purchased this foot pedicure on Amazon. Oh my gosh, I could not recommend enough. It is such a relaxing vibe to have your feet soaking in a pedicure tub while watching TV with like tea or wine or something. It's so nice, especially like with the upcoming winter months. I don't know. I want my feet to still look like baby feet, so it's really nice to soak them at home. I just don't know where to put it. Like, it's so bulky. And then this is the bin for my fall decor, like I mentioned. I could put the bin downstairs, but in like less than a month, I'm gonna have to put all of my fall decor back in it. Imagine this closet without these two things in here, and it would feel so much better. But a closet is for storage, and I am storing. Yeah, so it might not look that much different, but it just feels clean. Honestly, it is just so nice to take that moment to refresh a space every once in a while. So just the process of taking everything out and putting back what I think is necessary while vacuuming and cleaning. Like I wiped the doors and getting everything feeling fresh. It needed it. After two and a half years, it definitely needed it. But yeah, front door entryway space area is done. Now, moving on to the chaos. That is my garage closet, AKA where I really just throw everything. Let me show you what we are working with over here. And I'm kind of embarrassed, but it is what it is. We all have messy closets. Welcome to my garage door entryway closet. I use this every time I leave my house and it's about to show. So usually when I walk through the door, I can't believe I'm sharing this, but when I walk through the door, I usually just throw my shoes right here and I, it becomes a big pile of shoes right on the ground. And the original plan was to like have them in these cubbies, which also I just use for surface now. These belong in the garage. This is from July at the Twins Stadium. Not sure how an Elka Seltzer got here. Like I really need to organize the shoes. I've got some bigger handbags here. And then this is the worst part because I use this as a surface. I like open the door. Oh my God, did I just break my door? I did. I like open the door, quickly shove something in, and then shut it really fast. A lot of these are like towels from my pool. All of these need to be like washed and put upstairs until next summer when my pool is open. I've got some random purses I never use, storage bins I need to utilize, but I honestly just have to like take everything out and make it nice again. And then on this side of the closet, and I can never shut it because there are shoes always in the way. Um, but on this side of the closet, oh my god, really? I can't even open the door. This is so bad. And then on this side, what do you know? I have more shoes. I've got my little boot mat, winter boots. My aunt recently gave me some Kate Spade bags. I need to put those away nicely. I really do like them. They just have been there since I got them. And then a ton of denim, winter jackets. This area is usually fine. Like I won't have to do much with these. I might quickly go through and see if there's any that I can donate, but I feel like I wear them all. Also, I love this denim so much. I feel like I don't talk about it enough on my YouTube channel, but a sweet subscriber and friend named Danny made this for me as like a housewarming gift. It literally has the moon tarot card on the back. It's really cute. I love that so much. So I have a ton of denim, winter jackets, duffel bag that I never use but still have. Anything that I'm too lazy to put away, I put here on the hooks, which is also bad because it's just like getting messy. So I should probably take everything off of these hooks and try to make this look nice again. That is what we are working with for this closet. I think I'm gonna use the same technique. We just have to take everything out, clean it, and then slowly put everything back where it belongs and utilize the storage in here as well. I still can't get over this bruise too. Like, what is that? Please let me know if you bruise from blood draws because I am a little concerned. Anyway, let's get started and clean the closet. This is cute. 
cute. <laughs> Me acting like I've never seen the bag that I own before. Okay, this is cute. Should I start using this bag? Wait, I love it. I think I just found my new bag. Every single beach towel I own, just here in the closet. What is this? Like, what is this? Why is this in my closet? This is from a dress that I made into a shirt, but like, what was I gonna do with this? I should throw it away. Did I think it would make a cute... Maybe it'll be a cute shirt. Let me try, I should. I need to just throw this away. A third pair of Converse that I forgot I owned because I got these in seventh grade. Cleaning really is just finding things that you forgot that you owned and then wanting to use them again. Or finding things you forgot you owned and then finding stuff inside of the things you forgot you owned. I have so many bags and purses in here. Like look at this duffel bag that I have no memory of ever using. This is so cute though. I threw everything onto the ground. So this is everything that was in the closet. The cats are very curious. This is so disgusting. But the amount of like dirt and random stuff that my shoes have brought in, thankfully the camera doesn't pick up all of it, but I need to vacuum and wash. And then I went through, this area is probably fine. But on the other side, I took everything off of this cubicle, so I wanna clean that and then put some stuff back. So I put hats, mittens, scarves, stuff like that in these bins. So I'm gonna bring them down here now that winter is coming and probably put more handbags up there. I just need to clean the floor and then I'll start. Are you gonna go in there? You probably are. And then I'll put what, oh, this is so disgusting how much junk is here. But yeah, that's the plan. Let's go. Oh, and there's Marnie. You're not gonna like it in there once I start vacuuming. and it dramatically got very dark in here very quickly. The battery died a couple of times while I was finishing up this closet, but I think we are done. It feels so good and so refreshing. Let me show you the after, and I'm gonna have to turn on the bright, the bright light for this one. But even just the outside looks so much nicer and clean. I wiped down all of the surfaces. I did have a few marks and scuffs that I wanted to get. I did a quick vacuum and surface clean, but not like an extensive mop. This is so gross that I'm exposing the grout, but you can see like the well-traveled area here. What am I supposed to do? Do I need to get down there with like a toothbrush? Because I've done it with Clorox wipes. I've done it with an electric scrubber. I've used like soap, like floor cleaner, but I feel like for grout, you do just have to scrub. And then because it's white grout, it gets dirty so quickly. So I really don't know. I put away a lot of the denim jackets and extra bags that were out here, but I left a lot of my go-to totes, crossbodies, and purses that I use out. I love this. The subscriber made it for me. I also 
also really love this oversized floral tote. And then I've got my black and white crossbody and my go-to Teddy Blake purse. And then for the closet, I feel so much better about this. Like, look at that. Already, everything has a home. It's where it belongs. Since winter is almost here, I put all of my winter shoes easily accessible. These are all like the going out boots and whatnot. And then I put all of the summer sandals up here for now. I've got my hats and mittens in here. And then I don't reach for the scarves as much, so that's why they're over here. But I do have winter scarves. And then I just put some white tennis shoes here. And then I usually gravitate towards slippers because let's be honest, I'm home most of the time. I've got my anthropology slippers and then some go-to house slippers as well. I've got tennis shoes down there and another pair of heels. I have another Teddy Blake bag up here that's a bit oversized, but I do like it. And then all of my summer bags are here. I've got a lot of the things that I would bring hiking or to the pool, I just put there for now and then my Kate Spade purses for my aunt are up here as well. They're really nice. I just don't know how to keep them nice, you know? Now the hardest part here is going to be not putting things here because it's a blank surface and that's where the trouble began. It's so clean and organized. I love it. Then on the other side, are you going to help or do you just want to go in there? All right, Luna. On this side, I've got some of the larger boots. So I have two of my Ugg boots here. This is the boot mat that I need to put out soon. And then these are like my go-to fall booties right now. So I wanted them to be up front, easy to grab. These are more of the bigger winter and fall shoes. And then I've got all of my winter jackets, denims, and lately this has been my go-to corduroy to wear. It's like the perfect for October weather. And then I just have some big duffel bags inside that duffel bag. So I need to like put these hangers somewhere like downstairs because I don't like having all these extra ones out. It just feels so much better now that everything has a place and a home. This door though, something is wrong with this door. I need to fix that door. Hang on because it keeps coming off. There. That door keeps coming off of its hinges. Anyway, enough with that bright of light. I feel so much better having cleaned out both of these entryway closets now that everything feels put in its place. It's just so nice to kind of reset some spaces every once in a while. It's 5 p.m. like I mentioned, so I'll probably get to the office and wellness room another day. Oh my god, look at that. Hopefully the bruising is better, but I think we should do the office next as well as the office closet and end with the wellness room. So I'll see you upstairs. Welcome to my home office. This room I have really let go. So this is going to be a huge deep clean, but definitely necessary because this, can we not fight right now, please? Because this is where I do most of my work and I would love to be able to work in here again. Lately, I've been working in the living room, dining room table, sunroom, which I love, but you know, this is, this is the space for it. And luckily, I'm also teaming up with this wonderful brand that sent over a really cool piece of furniture to include in the office. So we will be building this as well and I cannot wait to show you what it is. But let me show you what we are really working with in here. This has been kind of just like a dump for everything business. It is a few days later since the last clips, but look at this bruise. It's been almost a week since I got my blood drawn and it's still so bad. Honestly, the office itself is not as bad as it used to be because a few months ago I like picked everything up and shoved it into the closet, which I will also show you. That is the part that is going to be wild. But basically, here's what we're working with. The office, this is probably the cleanest spot. I do like to work here, but I've got some big studio lights in here, some binders here with a lot of more just like business stuff or from school, college, taxes, all of that. Nice storage that I should go through again. That is my rock tumbler. I just turned it off for this video, but it's usually going. I do have a canvas that's usually here here, but I have to take it down because it shows the outside of my house. That's usually up. And then the desk. Whenever I get something related to YouTube or money or business or a bill, whatever, I throw it onto the desk and I need to clean this. I need to get everything back where it is. I just need to put everything away because I've just been piling stuff here 
and I know this room has so much potential, but lately it's just not been a good environment to work in. I also usually take pictures against this blank wall if I have anything to take for a brand. So I like having things that are easy to remove over there. The office closet is such a nightmare, but it's going to feel so good to, um, deep clean this. This is so embarrassing, but I'm definitely a millennial that cannot get rid of anything because I might need it one day, like big gift bags and wrapping paper, tissue paper, random boxes. Like I've saved so many boxes to use to re-gift when I need to, a box to put something in and that's fine but I can't do this, like it has to be organized. When I first moved into this house, it was so nice and organized in here. I don't know how it happened, but slowly and over time, it just turned into the biggest pit of a closet that I have in this house. You're on my rock tumbler right now, but the office itself shouldn't be that hard to clean. It's just gonna be a lot of tidying and putting things away, building furniture, cleaning the floors, and then eventually we will get to the closet. Okay, hopefully I don't get too distracted going through stuff in here, but let's just put everything away and see how much work we can get done today. It is a beautiful fall day, like in the 60s, sunny. I wanna go outside so bad, so I might prioritize that because this I can do when it's not nice out, but that is what we are working with. Let's get this office cleaned. I might regret trying this, but I'm tempted to move my desk. When I moved into this house, I did place this L-shaped desk in a few different places in this room, but I do remember every time I would work in here, I was always so tempted to look out the window and I hated having my back to the window, but the problem is, the door to the room is right here and I don't wanna have my back to the doorway either. I don't know, I'm tempted to just flip the desk and see what it would look like if I put it against the window. It might look really bad. I guess I could try this wall as well. I don't know, I think I'm just like eager for change and I need to reposition the desk in order to be productive in here. So let's get messy and see what this looks like if I swap the room around a little bit. <laughs> This is an option. I like it because I could face this way, but it opens up the room and then this way I'm still facing window and door. So I don't even know if I'm going to try to do it the other way because I feel like this already makes the most sense. Oh my God, yeah. And the room looks so much bigger too. Oh, this is perfect. Now I have like a little nook too, instead of just like facing the closet. Okay, now that I know where this is going, I can like actually clean and put everything back and I do really wanna clean like the floors where the desk was before because it, it's pretty messy, but oh, it looks so much better already, okay. Yeah, that is so much bigger. The cats are so confused. office in sections so I just got the desk corner figured out next I'm going to figure out this corner with the storage and whatever I'm putting against this wall and then we're going to do the couch corner 
the closet area and build the furniture once I know for sure where everything else is going. But already the space looks so much bigger and I feel so much better about it. But my allergies are definitely kicking in. I am so sensitive to dust and animal hair and there was just a lot in this space because I haven't been in here actively a lot. I can like feel my asthma tightening and it's hard to breathe, but we are going to power through. Actually, it's a nice enough fall day where I could probably open the window too, which would help my allergies and asthma so much. Oh my God, it's like literally, I think I already said this, but it's in the 60s today and it's mid-October. Oh, it feels so good. It is such a beautiful day. Oh my God, and this work corner already so much better. Not the cats trying to figure out how to climb the window. <laughs> earlier this awesome company wanted to send over a really cool piece of furniture that I thought would be perfect for my home office I cannot wait to get this set up what's really unique about this is the top of the nightstand or end table is a smart charger so I'll be able to charge my phone on it and I thought it would be perfect to put in the office like right here next to the couch because there have been so many late nights in my office where you know I'm working on my phone and I'm editing content or responding or you know going through something on my phone that requires battery and my phone has died I've had to like find a charger and whatever it just felt like the perfect office necessity I hope it's not too difficult to put together but of course everything is linked down below I also do have friends that will sleep on this couch it like pulls out to be the size of a twin size bed so it's actually pretty decent for guests Sometimes I'll have friends stay in this room and now they'll have like a nightstand with a charger on it. It's just, it's perfect. So I'm gonna get this out, try to figure out how to build it. This memory card is almost out of storage and my camera's about to die. So I will just check in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna be a late night of building furniture. And a couple blisters later, I finished building the smart nightstand end table. It was really easy to build. It actually came with a lot of tools, so I didn't even need to bring any of that upstairs. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if it charges my phone. Oh my God, that is so cool. I also love how you can change the light tones in here. This is amazing. I'm gonna clean it a little bit cause it got dirty during build. And now I have all this extra storage as well. Huge thank you to the company once again for sending this over. I can't believe my phone is charging right now. We've made it to the scariest part of this deep clean video. The closet. I am terrified. I don't even know where to begin. I can't believe I let it get this bad, but it's like 8 p.m. I have a good podcast on and I'm just going to probably take everything out. That's been my tactic is taking everything out and then only putting back things that have a place. Are you ready, Luna? These are all of my like important VidCon shirts too. Like I can't get rid of them because they're all from VidCon of different years. still having all of my binders from high school just in case I need them again someday.
Although I will say I do use binders still like for each tax year, I put all of my tax information into a new binder. For sheet music, I'll print off piano music. So they are nice to have, but I don't know how they ended up on the floor in here, not like on a shelf. This used to be my English binder, I think, in like ninth grade. So you know, like 12 years ago. <laughs> You know, so many people will probably tell me just to throw stuff like this away, but I'm telling you, when I moved, this was gold. And I did not want to buy bubble wrap when you're moving. It just felt like such an unnecessary purchase. I get a lot of bubble wrap with like packages, so I'm saving it because when I move eventually, I'm really gonna need this and it will come in handy. Or if I have like a gift, a really good gift, I can wrap it in this. I don't know, I just, I gotta save stuff like that. I can't not. It's been a couple days. I think the office is finally done, at least for now, and this video needs to go up tomorrow. So I'm just going to end the video, show you the reveal, but keep in mind, it's a little bit of a work in progress because I'm just waiting for some things that I ordered to arrive. But the office looks so much better in my opinion, and I cannot wait to work in here. The energy, the lighting, everything just like makes me feel productive. So let me show you the after. I'm so excited. Welcome to my clean office. I even added some plants. Just the fact that I can push the door all the way to the wall is insane to me because I used to hide so much storage back here. It looks so much bigger, so much space is cleared up. I love that I moved the desk here and I did take two plants from my wellness room for the office. I feel like the greenery adds so much life to the space. I love this little nook too. I feel like it's gonna help me be so productive. It's so cute. Let me show you some of the things that I changed. So starting with the desk, obviously, I feel like I have so much more workspace and I cannot wait to face the window while I work. I feel like I mentioned this in a vlog, maybe not, I can't remember, but I recently thrifted this at Antiques Minnesota. It's the cutest little Tiffany style lamp. I have it synced to the light switch in here too so I can turn it on from the light switch, but this is really nice in the evenings. It is such a gloomy fall day. I wanted to film this when the lighting would be better, but we're not getting that for like a week. I hung the Taylor Swift poster that I got at AMC the other day and then I finally framed the letter that came with my silver play button from YouTube last summer. Now here's the thing. I feel like this looks oddly placed and you can see all of the marks up there if my camera would focus of trying to figure out where to put it because I thought I wanted to do YouTube letter degree and then the play button but the play button's downstairs in the living room so eventually I think I'll put all three in the wall but for now it is what it is and then in January I think I want to print out some of my vision board that I make every single year I usually make a digital vision board from Pinterest photos and then use the collage as my desktop background on my computer. Since it's almost the new year, I think I'm going to print off some new ones for 2024 and then have them as a visual on this wall while I'm working for the next year. I also finally hung up this clock that was in my apartment. I debated donating it to Goodwill, but I think the gold still matches this room. And then what I'm waiting for are new prints. I printed these out 2015 maybe. It's weird 
weird that a lot of them are just pictures of me, but that's because they used to be photos with people that just like aren't in my life anymore. So I swapped them out, but this needs a refresher. So I went to the same website so I could get the same size prints and I printed out a ton of photos that have to do with YouTube, VidCon, my work, hitting 100K, hitting 50K, whatever it is. If it has to do with work, YouTube, and my passions, I printed it out. So I'll do that in a new vlog, but that's getting a refresher. You can't really see, but I added some more plants here, which is nice. And then like I mentioned, I usually have this canvas up there as well, but it shows the front of my house. It's from closing day. So it's like that, that classic picture of me holding the sold sign. My real estate agent actually printed it and gave it to me as a housewarming gift. It's so cute, but obviously I can't show that. So that's usually up there. And then I added this shelf. So up here I have shelves. All of those are my own publications. They're literally magazines that I'm published in so that's why I have those there. I've got any self-improvement work books here that help with work and then these are all other YouTube books because you know creators supporting other creators and that's a picture of my grandma on the day of her retirement. They gave her this picture and she passed away so I thought it would be perfect to put that here in my office now. I've got all of my passes and badges from different events that had to that came from YouTube. I added this little shelf because I wanted a place to honor like my old cameras. I got this camera at like 13. It was when YouTube first started. Look, it has YouTube capture mode. I don't think I ever used it for YouTube, but back then I really wanted to be someone that like sang covers on YouTube in like 2008 because that's what everyone did. So I have a lot of old footage of me at like age 13 trying to sing Taylor Swift songs. So this is like the camera that started it all, I guess. And then this is my original Canon G7X. And that one broke in California a few months ago. So I had to buy a new one that I'm using now. It's nice to be able to display them. And then these are some of my old phone cases from my merch launch. If you got it, monetize it. They just don't fit my new phone because this is for, I think, an iPhone 7. And now I have an iPhone 11. But this was a pivotal time. I wanted to honor that as well. But look at how like open this is. I definitely need to get like a rug of some sort. And then of course we have the new end table. I'm so obsessed with this. This extra lighting in here is super, super nice in the evenings because it is kind of a dim room. But yeah, highly, highly recommend. It was such a sweet gift. So thank you again to the Amazon store that gave me this product. I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. So easy to build. So nice. It also has USB ports on the side as well. Such a nice completion to this room. And then the closet. I'm telling you, nothing felt better than getting this sucker cleaned. And I feel so much lighter now that I did. This is like a completely different world and I need to keep it this way. I don't know how it got so bad. It was so gradual. The final reveal, this is the work closet, the office closet. Now I can actually store my filming lights in here. I used to use these a lot when I lived in my parents' basement and in my apartment just because the lighting was really bad, but luckily now I have so much natural light that I don't need it as often. And then I have a small ring light, but none of those big lighting pieces used to fit in there. I can also put my tripod in there now. It's so nice. This is really like everything that was in it before except put away. Look at how empty it looks. I have all of my extra gift bags in there. I've got all of my art canvases back there. These I've had since college, what a throwback. I keep all of these small jewelry boxes. So if I ever have a gift, I can like put it in here. I don't know, it's like that millennial mindset of I might need this box someday. All of the tissue paper or wrapping paper pieces are in here. And then all of the small bags that I can gift are in here. I just like want to reuse it, you know? I've got some party essentials in here as well. So if I ever do like a photo shoot for a birthday or I don't know, I've got tattoos, streamers, just little props, bags. These are actually from Ashton's grandma from Christmas last year, but they're nice. I've got all of the binders. Hi Luna. I've got all the binders here, wrapping paper. All of the boxes are up here. So if I ever need one to re-gift, they're nice and organized. This is more stuff from my childhood. Like I literally have CDs in there and then old stuff from girlhood. And then I do keep boxes. So this is like the box that my laptop came in, my camera came in, my Apple Watch, all of that. But that is the closet. Are you gonna stay in here? Yeah, I'm gonna sit next to you. The cats really love it in here. I love it in here. I'm so glad that 
I took the time to do this because it looks so much better and it feels better. I can't wait to start editing in here and actually have like a chair to sit up in instead of like me on the couch like this. I definitely still want to add like crystals and more plants in here. It's still sort of a work in progress, but it is so much better. There's so much storage. I know I wanted to do the yoga and wellness room in this video as well, but I have a feeling this video is already kind of long. So we'll save the deep clean of the wellness room for a vlog coming soon and I'm just going to end it here I'm actually what time is it yeah I have like 15 minutes but I'm actually going to be guest starring on Alana's podcast today Alana Cole if you follow her we're kind of very similar adult creators on YouTube I've been on her podcast before but I wanted to come back and chat OnlyFans again so definitely check that out we're recording today I'm gonna go do that and then since the wellness room is also a very spiritual room and i have a lot of spiritual items in there i think i'm going to kind of condense that wellness clean out video with like probably the tarot card collection how to use tarot cards and maybe opening the geodes as well that video will be out soon so definitely subscribe i did really want to clean out that room for this video but i think i'm at the limit for this video and for my own like energy for this week once I clean out the wellness room though, like the house is clean. Like I feel put back together again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the end table that the Amazon shop sent over and I will see you guys real soon. My next week's video is super exciting. I already announced it on my Instagram, so definitely follow me on Instagram. But since you're here at the end of the video, I'll give you a little sneak peek. It is a full crystal shopping vlog at all of the crystal shops that I've never been to in Minneapolis and I'm so excited I've already been filming it this week and the shops are really cool so you don't want to miss that but I'll see you next week with my new video